Hello, my name is Don Nelson, and I am publisher of Cutting Tool Engineering and Micro Manufacturing Magazines. And I am here at IMTS 2014. Uh, specifically, I'm at the booth of Makino, where I'm going to learn about some new technology, uh, some technology that you folks have had around for a while. I'm with Craig Voss. So, Craig, what can you tell me about this machine here? Okay, so here we have our uh, latest 630 millimeter pallet horizontal. Um, very similar to a previous version that has been a workhorse for Makino and, and a great machine overall. Uh, what we've done with this is we've tried to improve some key aspects of the machine that will make this machine even more competitive in the marketplace. Um, most notable is increased Y-axis on the machine. So we've got 80 millimeters more Y-axis now um, to support the uh, machining in the upper area of that Y-axis. We're now using linear guides on all axes uh, for increased rigidity. Another key feature is the spindle. The, the spindle act deck has been improved uh, such that tapping in aluminum is substantially faster. We're seeing up to 30% reduction in tapping times okay. on aluminum parts, right. which, which is a big deal for high volume manufacturers. Sure. Um, along with that, I guess we've also had many uh, uh, creature comforts that have been added that I think our operators are going to like. Uh, we now have a tool loading drawer in the 60 tool standard magazine, which makes loading large tools much, much easier. Um, another feature that we can look at here for in a minute, we can open the door. The operator opening into the machine it has grown in size. Um, part of the roof actually opens with the door and that prevents uh, coolant dripping on the operator. Well, it's very thoughtful of Makino to, to add that feature for machinists. Right, I, I think the operators will really appreciate some of some of the smaller details that have been uh, been improved on this machine. Okay. So, let me let me open the door. We can kind of get a feel for what's uh, inside. As you notice, the step is now much lower to get into the machine. The previous door was probably somewhere in this area. Uh, made it difficult to get in and out of the machine and really know where to stand. I have a step inside the machine also, oh, really? easier on the operator. And if you notice up top, we have we have the roof of the machine is, is cut back and actually opens with the door. So um, not as many drips when I'm leaning in. Coolant's going to be dripping inside the machine instead of on the operator's head. That's as nice as a house almost. <laughs> it, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's definitely an improvement over, over the previous version. Okay. And what, so, what, what's being done here? What, what operation would, would you be doing? So here we have a brush that we're using uh, to brush a finished machine part. And actually, um, what that does is we're just taking all the rough edges off, off the milled surface, the irregular edges, and um, cleaning up that part. And the, the tool changer, how many different tools can it uh... Uh, uh This is a 60 tool ring on this machine standard. And we also have optional matrix magazines for operators that, that need more, more tool content for systems and other applications. We were just watching an uh, aluminum transition uh, house, housing being machined, uh, milling, and a little bit of drilling. And uh, I'd like to take a look at what that part looks like when it's finished. And so if we could come over here, Craig, and talk about it a little bit. So what you see here is the finished housing. Uh, basically what we're demonstrating is uh, the increased tapping speeds are allowing us to produce 92 holes in this part in, um, in about a, over a minute less cycle time than on our previous machine. So in this higher volume application, uh, it's a big savings for the customer resulting in lower machine count. We also have um, on the top of the part, we're we're producing a large diameter bore. Uh, we're using a T-bar style cutting tool here. The 81NX is capable of tool changing a T-bar style tool that is uh, much larger than the, the standard diameter of 356 millimeters. So that allows us to do bigger diameter bores and large parts on this machine. Now, is this being done uh, cut with diamond tooling? Yes, all the milled surfaces are uh, cut with PCD inserted tooling. Uh, the finish you'll notice, this part has been brushed, so uh, 
The brushing is just to remove any burrs along the edges of the casting. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Hey, thank you. All right. Uh, we've moved to the other side of the booth and we are here with Ian Candelini and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the A61NX and Ian, what, what can you tell us about this machine? The machine is a 5-axis horizontal. Uh, a lot of features dedicated in this case for uh, structural aerospace components such as this. And there's a couple of things when we want to make a part like this. We want to obviously rough it and finish it as quickly as possible because the name of the game is production. So for this part, we use, utilize a few things from the machine. For the roughing, we want rigidity, which the machine has. We also want very high metal removal rates. So to get that, we have a 24,000 RPM spindle, 80 kilowatts, 107 horsepower, and it's great. However, you need a rigid structure because you want to use all that horsepower, okay. and we can do that. For finishing the part, we want this, in this case, it's a simultaneous five axis part, a lot of motion, uh, and we need to be able to accelerate and decelerate our rotary axes quickly. And we can do that. We have uh, two direct drive rotary tables, the B and the C are direct drive, uh, very high acceleration, and they're both liquid cooled. In fact, the entire machine is liquid cooled for stability. Uh, and that gives us accurate parts, we can get them off fast, they're repeatable, and I don't know what else you could possibly want from a machine tool. Just out of curiosity, like how long would it take to, to produce this? This part on this machine is just under 10 minutes, 9.8 minutes. So 9 minutes, 47 seconds ish. Okay. Wow, that's impressive. It's really, really uh, getting rid of some material. And, and how big is the... Uh, Oh, the blank or the, the, the raw stock is the raw stock the billet is uh, similarly sized to this part you've got about a few inches on each side it's a rectangular billet for bolting uh, and the part is cut out uh, and tab it's tab cut and we break off the tabs at the end you want to talk about the control sure it's uh, it's got Makino's Pro 5 control on it lots of nice features uh, this machine specifically is automated with a pallet pool and the pallet pool allows us to do things like we can run overnight, um, we can do, do with um, a lot of high volume jobs, high mix is okay, and the control has a lot of features that allows us to utilize that pallet pool. So we've got things like um, really advanced redundant tool capabilities, uh, tool checking, we can augment that with um, tool measurement inside the work zone, outside the work zone, wherever you want it, we can put it there. And, uh, so that, that that means you, you never you wouldn't have to take it off to to, to check it. Okay, can we take a look at uh, some cutting? And reporting from the Aquino booth, uh, thank you for the demonstration, Ian. I appreciate it. Good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you very much. All right.